Previously on the high mileage and neglected STI Hawkeye build, all four spark plugs were replaced. One of these expensive coils had to be replaced. Mass airflow cleaned, air filter cleaned, all to chase down a pesky check engine light that ended up being a multiple cylinder engine misfire. Problem solved for now. Then we moved on to removing all of the modifications that I do not like. Removing stickers, wing stiffies as they're called, had to be removed. Rear mud flaps, gone. The rain gutter guard drip rail thing on one side of the vehicle had to be removed because it was only on one side. Tail light tint on one side of the tail lights was removed. Center console replaced with one that has a rear cup holder and a taller armrest. We'll give that a shot. See if my elbow clears it. Awkwardly placed center dash mounted cell phone holder gone. The rat's nest that was inside the end cabin air filter has been removed. My dreams were shattered when I discovered my dream wheels that I had for this car do not look like they're going to fit. Now we have to figure out why these side skirts are not fitting or staying on the car. I have an idea. It's probably the crushed pinch weld along the rocker frame rail of the car. I am going to attempt to hammer this pinch weld along the frame rail here flat to how it should be. This piece, I don't think I'm going to be able to get in there and do much. Um, the easiest way or cheapest way would probably be to get some of those paintless dent removal glue on tabs and like a slide hammer. You might be able to pull it down. Um, the tool that you weld here and slide hammer down, I think those are pretty expensive. I'm not sure, but I'm going to worry about this first because this is what the uh, side skirt kind of holds up against. So I just need a flat surface. This I probably won't even notice once the side skirt's on. Tools, we have a few different hammers to pick from and a trusty two by four. And I've seen people use vice grips and also like bench vices to pull these down. I'm just gonna see if I can use a good old whack-a-mole method I learned years ago. You, most of you are probably too young to remember. Chuck E. Cheese whack-a-mole, but we're gonna give it a shot. About 10 minutes of hammering. It looks like it's quite a bit flatter than it used to be. And grab the side skirt, see how it fits. I think this corner here needs to be pulled down, but I'm pretty happy with my first metal hammering experience. This car is super rust free, so if I had any kind of surface rust or anything forming in between these pinch welds where all the metal's coming together, the best course of action would be to kind of try to spread them open a little bit, get in there and sandblast all the rust away, clean it up as best as you can, and then treat it with some rust inhibitor or rust um, converter. And then you could push it, smash it all together, or even prime it before you push it all back together because you don't want that rust being trapped in there. But this car is, like I said, almost 100% rust free. There was nothing in there, and it's not going to get much use in the snow or even the rain for that matter. So we're going to be okay. Pulling the carpet back, uh, you can see all this whole area that got pushed up and under the car there's actually a perfect little circular mark where there was a, a hoist or a, a jack or something that pushed right up on here actually on both sides both the other side isn't as bad um, but you can see how this stud is completely pointed this way it should be straight up like this one here so i'm not going to go crazy i don't want to like break a bunch of the seam sealer or any of the spot welds out. The seat sits in here fine, so none of this bracketry here has been messed up, thankfully. It's just this right here. So you can see a little crease right here. I'm just going to um, use my mad hammer skills and try to get this a little bit more flat how it should be. The stud is now perfectly straight up and down like the one further up here. Um, this, it actually is really soft. It hammered down pretty well. There's a lot of different ripples and waves and stamping in the floor. So I'm not sure how far to go down 
or what is or is not supposed to be there like this ridge here it's got a dip behind it this is the ridge and it kind of goes back down i'm not sure what exactly is it supposed to be there or not it's not going to be perfectly flat because it's just how the floors are stamped so it looks a lot better than it did put the carpet back and see there is now no more hump in the carpet where your feet are supposed to go there is a little hole where that stud pushed through i think that was on my first video wondering what happened here but now we knew now we know what happened and we fixed it so we do the same thing over there it's much more minimal on that side so probably just a, a few couple of swift whacks of the bigger hammer and should be okay front pinch welds are a little more complicated but similar to the rear in the fashion that this all needs to be hammered flat to match this right here the front fender comes down and bolts into this pinch weld so these are smashed and mushed the fender is going to be a little mushed so the front fender has to come off which is a bit more labor intensive but this whole section here can be hammered out without having to remove the fender I'm gonna need a bigger, better tool. At this point, it is pretty much hammered flat as I'm gonna be able to get it. It does need to be pulled down right about this area here um, a little bit, but I'm gonna have to get some kind of a slide hammer attached to some vice grips or like I mentioned, the PDR tool. This here is a little pushed in, but this isn't a full on restoration. I'm just trying to clean it up, get it nice and flat so that the side skirts will bolt up perfectly and that they'll clip in the holes. They'll come under here and clip in and there won't be any issues with those mounted to the car. It's a good sound. Side skirt clipped in place perfectly all along the top. The back one is a little loose still, but I think it just needs a new clip because it's got the, the distance to get in the hole, but it's just not staying there. So we'll just have to put some new clips in. Underneath, all the mounting holes along the entire frame rail of the car now match up perfectly which they didn't before i think from above they look pretty good driver's side was a little bit worse than the rest of the car same process grab a two by four grab a big hammer back the two by four with the big hammer don't hit your car with the big hammer it'll do damage good thing it will be covered by the side skirt driver's side is fitting pretty good weather stripping Rubber piece is missing right now. I gotta glue it back on, except for the front. We still have quite a bit of a gap there. You can see because of the front fender. They don't think this fender is the right color. If you look at this versus this, I know I got a fender, an extra one that was damaged when I bought the car, but the left looks like a gray color, probably from an 07 but I know this color was only available in 06. Doesn't quite match in my opinion. Anyway, I think I'm gonna have to pull the fender because I couldn't get quite the frame rail uh, flat enough for the fender to bolt up. You can see there's not even a bolt holding that fender in right here. So I'm gonna have to probably pull the fender, get behind it, flatten out that frame rail the pinch weld so that this fender fits a little more flush so our side skirt can fit. The front bumper, headlight, fender, all came off with extreme ease, a lot easier than I expected because, well, probably one of the previous owners didn't 
reinstall all the clips. On the bumper, there is a couple of clips that go behind the grill, somewhere over here, that are a nightmare to get off. You have to pop out all the little grills to get to it. But I didn't have to do that because those clips were not reinstalled. Headlights are aftermarket and didn't have everything installed, the hardware. Um, this strut part was probably the hardest thing to remove. And then finding something, good thing we had a bumper piece laying around, to keep the hood up just in case the other one over there fails. So now we have parts on parts on cars. And this is what we're getting at. This little frame rail fender mount. I'm gonna get rid of this, but we hammered out the frame rail as much as I could, but I wanna get that piece there so I can install the side skirt. Everything else looks good. All the spot welds are still all factory. It doesn't look like anything's been cut out and replaced. So I think it was just the fender that got smushed. On the leading edge of this door, there's some chips. So that would kind of explain the fender getting smushed and maybe going into the door. But under here, I don't see anything else that would show that any of the factory spot welds have been drilled out or removed or any bite marks or anything like anything has ever been pulled. So that's a good thing. Okay, it looks like the side skirt is gonna fit much better now. Once we align the fender, it will flush up to the fender a little bit better, look like that, but at least now we have the room because that lower pinch weld is fixed. However, I do need to work on these tabs because this one is broken, this one is really broken. So I think we'll super glue it in place Maybe put a little two-part epoxy to strengthen them a little bit, but I think we're making some progress. This fender is from Taiwan, not Japan. I was curious about it. It didn't look like the best fit and finish. So I kept the one that came with the car. We'll just have to see if someone can beat the panel back into a, a better state so we can reuse it because not super stoked on um, the aftermarket fender here or the color. Last one is missing because of course the aftermarket headlight tab that mounts to here is broken. The hidden mounting tabs behind the grill on both sides, we are just gonna leave those missing right now because I have a feeling the front bumper will be coming off again in the near future. To keep the side skirts hopefully where they're supposed to, we've got new clips for the top and new clips for the bottom. There is the little rear extension piece for the side skirt by the rear wheel and it just clips in as well with a couple of clips and we got new fender liners for the left and right side. Side skirts are repaired and installed on the vehicle. Let's hope they stay there. Multiple parts are on order. Plans are in the works. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, do all that stuff so I can continue this channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.